can't believe it's over. It's muy triste. And because of me, Michaela has to leave town. Right, and we're all to blame. Hey, is it true? Um, has Michaela left school? Yeah, she had to move. Her mom got a job in another city. Really? Teacher, pardon me, I put Devin DeMarco today since Michaela's gone, and uh, she kind of scares me. I think Heard that, Kyle. Ooh. Every word. Like my latest skull? That's definitely gonna leave a DeMarco. <laughs> Um, Michaela, you know I'm always on your side, but I'm guessing the Quill would not be happy about this. I just have a hunch Carson Lazarus is somehow behind all this. Nobody wanted Innovate destroyed more than she did. And with the girls gone, I need your help. Oh, you need me! We are a team. Always have been. Where you go, I go. True BFFs! Are you crying? Uh, no. I just have a little pixel in my eye. Uh, <clears throat> hello? I'm here to spray for ants. <laughs> so not cool, Catnip Everdeen. There catnip behind their catnip? What are you trying to tell us? Something's not right. Oh, there are pH strips in your lab kit. Of course. We use pH strips to test it. If there's no color change, it'll confirm it's drywall. But if the color changes, it's something else. Some water. Oh, good thinking. Stay hydrated. Not for me. I knew it. The acid levels show that the wall isn't made of drywall or wood. And some pieces are floating, suggesting it may be plastic, since many plastics are less dense than water. And since styrofoam is a type of plastic, it could be that. Pleasure watching you work, girlfriend! Go, go us! Go, go us! That feels weird without the girls. Dr. Crawford? Please hurry, Owl. I only jammed the camera feed to this office for one minute so you can look through Dr. Crawford's files. Relax, Addison. <laughs> you know, I'd pace if I had legs. Michaela, can I help you? Uh, no, ma'am. I was just dropping off these files you asked for. Thank you. Um, I uh, actually have some others for Professor Cato, but I haven't seen him. Neither have I. I'm starting to get concerned. Would you like me to try to reach him? No, no, I'm, I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, Michaela. You're doing a very nice job here. Thank you, Dr. Crawford. Keep it up. Start a search of Professor Cato's last known addresses. I will right after my bit break returns to normal. That was close. There you are, two of Cafe Adam's sweet polyphenol teas to go. Enjoy! 
very good ride. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much again for hiring me this summer. It's my pleasure, cariño. We're going to have so much fun. Totally. And with the extra money, I'm finally in that meditation class I've been wanting to take. Did you know that through MRI, scientists have found that meditation leads to enhanced creativity, better focus, lower anxiety, and a lasting sense of calm. I can't think of anyone who could use a little meditation more than you. Wow, this place is awesome. Adri, Bri, this is Tessa, and her mother, Miss Wallace. Bienvenidos al Café Atoms. Hi, Mr. Coyle. Hello, Bryden. Adrian. In honor of your first day at Destination Mars Camp, I'm going to make you all Cafe Adam's special cotton candy milkshake with liquid nitrogen ice cream. Sounds great. Warning, major brain freeze. <laughs> Has anyone been able to reach Michaela today? She's not answering her phone. No, I'm beginning to worry about her. She did take last night's fiasco pretty hard. Doesn't she also have her driver's license test coming up? Whew, talk about being stressed. Some meditative controlled breathing exercises will work for her about now. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the nose. In through the nose. <coughs> it's harder than it looks. Uh, hello. You got this. Michaela, can you tell us about some of the programs you and the others have contributed? Uh, sure. Right this way. Uh, so this is Ember Evergreen and Bryden Bandwidth, and they've created... Created uh, Maywood Glen's very own vertical forest <laughs> by planting hundreds of plants and vegetation all over stone acres. We calculate that the plants will consume carbon dioxide and deliver between 75 and 100 kilograms of oxygen per day. And with my sick computerized controlled drip irrigation system, I mean sick like amazing, not sick like bleh, <laughs> we'll be able to minimize water use by 75 to 80%. We like to say drip is the new cool. We don't say that. We could. We won't. Okay, uh, thanks guys. Uh... Amazing, right? Okay, <laughs> now you have to try this. Good job, girls. <laughs> um, and this is Adrian Adams and Cameron Coyle, and they created Cycle Sickle. Using pedal, power, the ice, and salt, churn at a higher rate. Creating a culinary explosion of flavored helado, ice cream. Using zero energy from the grid. Try my culinary white chocolate with ancho chili pepper. Like me, fabulous with a bit of a kick. Wow, so inventive. Don't look at me. The students of Maywood Glen deserve all the credit. Michaela in particular, she is a wonderful role model for all young women, including my daughter. <laughs> Hey, sweetie. Mr. Stone, right in bandwidth. I remember, drip is the new cool. I knew it would catch on, hashtag trendsetter. I just wanted to let you know that I am a huge fan of Stone Television Network. I watch it all the time. And it actually inspired me to make my own web series. It's called Bryant's. You know, right in science, Bryant's. Get it? I do. I'll have to check it out sometime. Really? Send me the link. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, jeez, he's going to watch the show! Oh, Michaela. Do you think he's going to like it? I, I just want to thank you again for spearheading the new engineers program, especially considering my history with your father. I was glad to help, and it's OK. My father hasn't been a part of my life for a long time. Well. As a way of saying thank you, my wife and I would like to invite all the volunteers from Maywood Glen Academy to our home for dinner one night. That'd be great. I'm sure Bri will be there. <laughs> you were right. Devin's exactly where you said she'd be. Yep, Devin gets angry about something, Devin expresses it through graffiti, Assistant Principal Wilson freaks, Devin gets in trouble, and Devin has something else to be angry about. It's the circle of life. Okay, let's go talk to her. I hate the talking to her part. What's up, Devin? Looks like you got a lot of cleaning to do there, huh? Yep. Well, if it helps, I always find cleaning to be soups relaxing. When I'm stressed, I organize things, I clean things, I email things, I text things. <laughs> Say things. So many things. Oh, we're not here to talk. We're here to help. 
with this. <laughs> a bike? Not just any bike. A bike, when I add this and do this, generates electricity. <laughs> you might want to put these on. <laughs> Which allows us to power our own personal sandblaster. We create clean energy by letting the pedaling do the work. <sighs> and as a bonus, it's a great workout. I'm mildly impressed. Now what's in it for you guys? You have to help us amp up our opening act for Elite's contest. You know, with all the funky, cool, artsy stuff you do. Look, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm gonna have to pass. Ah, this cleaning doesn't bother me. I could do this all day. Fine, have fun. I don't wanna do this all day. We were hoping you'd say that. Okay. I'm in. Awesome. <laughs> but on one condition. You promise not to talk as much as you normally do. Deal! You have my word, and my word is rock solid. Just take it from my girl Cam here. She knows that when Bride and Bandwidth, she promises. <laughs> no one can resist my delicious gelatin treats. Chip Chip Hurry every Friday. From the size of this crowd? Wait! Everything's going according to plan. Maddie's going to take the green gummy bait for sure. Uh, Ember, we got ourselves a gummy bear hog. No, Randy. It'd be polite to leave some of Adrian's gummies for the other customers. Just saying. Who are you, Evergreen? The gummy bear police? <laughs> That's cute. Now don't make me ask you again. Randy, you should try some of my famous honey beads made with drops of honey, cold olive oil, and agar agar. So nice they named it twice. Here. Wow, talk about a great disguise. Yeah, but not great enough to fool her little sister. Welcome to Cafe Adams. The minship was a wise choice. <laughs> and feel free to load up on toppings. Hey, you told me I couldn't. Chatting with the customer, Randy. Where was I? I myself am a chocolate sprinkles crushed peanuts kind of gal. What kind of person are you? A person who's leaving. <laughs>